And now I want to get into a little bit of the, the workshop. How do you find your love connection with Swanar Karshana Bhairava? Now, this is something, um, as I mentioned, you know, we talk about belief, we talk about faith, but you have to kind of relate to the archetype, to the god or the goddess in order to have that. And what I've always done, I want to share just how I've had, how, I, how I've related to certain gods or goddesses when I didn't know them. And Swana Krishna Bhairava being one, of course, in my most recent one, is I will think of something that I want to do with them, something I want to engage with them on. So if you like to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw out some things here that you might respond to. If you like to, let's say cook, there is a food that he likes. He likes cashews, but he also likes this food called payasam, and it's an Indian sweet, and it's really easy to make. So you might find that uh, you, you do that for him. You cook him this little dish and any sweet dish will be with cashews will be really appealing to him. Uh, you may also envision or imagine, which actually is really happening by the way. So even though you're imagining something, it's really happening. Imagine that you're putting this beautiful bowl of sweet piasm in front of him and then imagine that he takes that bowl and he starts to eat that and the joy that it creates in him and you'll be able to feel that so these are some imaginary things you can do sometimes you know he has a, a third eye here in the center of his forehead it's a vertical eye you may want to really kind of have that eye maybe press up against your forehead so that activates your third eye and feel the connection of his forehead against your forehead. So it's this interrelating, it's this experience of sound and touch. You may smell, you may all of a sudden, you know, light some, maybe some, some um, okay. so you can light some sandalwood and then you can smell that and just imagine that that's, that's him, that he's around you. And he loves the smell of that. Also his consort or his partner, Bhairavi, loves incense. So she will come like crazy if you put some incense out. So you can have that smell. Or maybe he also holds, holds a jar of Amrita, of golden liquid. So you might want to go ahead and, and touch that jar and ask for his permission that he is going to give you that golden liquid. And then imagine that he's corresponding with you, that he's, that he's talking with you because he is. So there are certain some ways that you can connect to him and it's whatever you like to do. He also has, he has diamonds in his, in his, uh, um, headdress. You know, if you like gems, like precious gems, you might be able to really connect to the shine of that diamond or that, you know, that ruby or, you know, whatever, whatever diamond, whatever, whatever kind of precious gem you can really respond to. You really can connect to that with him. 